I'm Jasmine Barmore in Detroit, outside a new lab at Michigan Central, where local and regional fire departments have come to learn more about putting fires out in electric vehicles. <laughs> this technology is so important because fires in electrical vehicles can burn so much longer than ones in traditional vehicles. Firefighters across the Detroit area and the surrounding states were present at the event, and even some from Ontario were also there to look at the different technologies they can take back to their own departments. One example is the Lifeline fire hose. It's a water hose that has an oxygen hose running through it, allowing a firefighter to tap into that oxygen instead of wearing a tank. It's especially useful for EV fires because they need copious amounts of water, a lot of water, and, and uh, this way the firefighter can uh, be on scene delivering water uh, to, to that fire and uh, not have to worry about running out of air. Detroit is quickly becoming the epicenter of battery, safety, and emergency response to electric vehicles and energy storage systems. So what you're looking at is uh, the turtle fire system. Basically creates a water plume underneath the vehicle to help cool it down if there's ever an EV fire for the vehicles out on the street. Detroit Fire Chief Damon Robinson says the department is looking into investing into more of the technology because Detroit is becoming a bigger hub for electrical vehicles. In Detroit, I'm Jasmine Barmore, 7 News Detroit.